YouTube. What's going on, it's your boy Mike McFly, and you're watching a new video of McFly Collectibles. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about day four of New York City Comic Con 2020 Funko reveals. And also, I'm going to be showing you a Venom Pop. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Funko family, what's going on? So before I get started on today's video, just want to tell all my subscribers, thank you so much. I'm sitting at 130 right now, trying to get to 150 to 200 subscribers. So if you're new to my channel right now, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification button to get alerted on all my new videos. So before I get started on NYCC Day 4 Reveals, which I believe is the last day, I believe so, because I think there's about 40 pops overall, including the soldiers, I think like 42, 43. But I had this box sitting around for about a week and I said, you know what? It's another Venom Pop. I said, you know what? Let me just open it up for this video because I'm just tired of having boxes sitting around. <laughs> so I, I got this actually off the Macari app and uh, you want to talk about bubble wrap. Yeah, this is, <laughs> at least I know it can't be damaged. There's no way this could be damaged. Right, here we go. Bubble wrap pretty well again. Wrap has a pop protector, so that's nice. And hopefully, yeah, it's definitely going to be in good condition. I like the way how they bubble wrap this. And here he is, Venom number three seven three, Leaping Venom, from the Marvel Collector Corps. This pop is awesome. I'm gonna basically take it out the pop protector. Let's see how it is. The box condition. I've been after this Venom for a while. I missed out on the month for this one. For the, the month, I don't know what month it was. I know it was in 2018, I believe, for this Venom. And here he is. Box is in, from what it looks like here. It's in, I say, yeah, it's mint condition. It's mint condition. Nothing wrong on the top. Nothing wrong on the bottom. Factory code stamp right here. And yeah, it has like maybe a slight little crease. You probably, you guys probably can't see it because of the lighting or whatever. You could barely see it. Honestly, it's not noticeable. But I basically paid, with shipping handling, $34 for this. And it was basically, uh, I think on PBG right now, it's going for $40. But it's a, not a bad looking pop. The details on it. What I like about this pop is that he's obviously leaping. It's leaping Venom. So his base, I don't know why people don't like those bases on these pops where it's like they're jumping or flying. I think it's pretty cool. It makes the pop look awesome. And his tongue obviously is green. He has the blue veins. So yeah, it looks just like the combo. Because in the combo, when they draw him, he does have like the blue veins from the symbiote. But it's, it's an awesome looking pop. Another Venom pop in my collection. I'm happy about it. it. It's not, it's definitely not a bad looking Venom. I think out of the Venoms that I have. So when we talk about Venom pops, we're talking about Marvel Zombie, the Z Marvel Zombie Venom. We're talking about Anti Venom. And I think this one, this one, I think top three. So I feel like these are the top three Venom overall out of the whole um, Venom line. When it comes to Venom, the character, these are the top three. So yeah, so I'm happy now that this one is added into my collection and I'm not letting this go. Not for nothing not letting this one go so now i'm going to be talking about the nycc 2020 funko reveals day four which once again i believe it's the last day of just showing the funko pops so the first one we're going to talk about is beetlejuice glow in the dark holding the book of recently dece the deceased this is a great looking pop i'm getting this this one's on my list beetlejuice fans out there is getting it i don't know the hype is real for this one i've seen people saying oh that's a hot looking pop some people are saying oh it could have been better I like it. I, I love the movie. It's a classic movie, classic scenes. So yeah, this pop is definitely going to the collection. I'm gonna go after it. And I don't know it, um, which store it's shared with, but whatever store it's shared with, I'm going after it. So yeah, if you're a Beetlejuice fan or just a pop collector in general, you gotta get this pop. Now the next one now is anime. And I already knew day four, the reviews of day four was gonna be anime pops. I already knew it. Everybody had that feeling because we haven't really seen any anime at all. So the first anime pop, is Cowboy Bebop Ian Flock with a T bundle. So it's basically gonna be a top, uh, uh, basically a pop T bundle set. And the t-shirt looks pretty cool. Uh, once again, another Funko t-shirt in black. You know, I guess they use black and gray, their favorite colors. I haven't seen a lot of whites, reds, not a lot of blues, you know. But as far as the pop is concerned, the pop looks cute. It's a cute looking pop from the Cowboy Bebop um, anime. It's Flock, you can't go wrong with Flock. And it's on point with the character because I've seen pictures of the character. 
And yeah, I like the way it looks, but for those anime fans, especially those, cow um, those Cowboy Bebop fans, you got to go after it. It's, it's a cute looking pop. The next anime was the one that I showed you in my uh, two videos ago, and it was the Crunchyroll Judy Junji Ito Collection, number 855. And this one, as I'm looking at the pictures and I'm just seeing it over and over, I'm going to go after this. I think it's pretty cool. It's a creepy pop. He has nails in his teeth, the hammer in his left hand, the candles, just the whole pop. It's creepy, you know, and from basically the short stories, it's on point with how they uh, sculpture him and painted him. I like it. So I'm going to definitely go after this. I know anime fans are going to go after this. I always, I post it on the, my Instagram telling um when they re um, reveal this on um, Funko's post, I put real anime fans know about this. And there was a lot that responded that knew. So yeah, so I, I, for sure, I think this one's going to be a hot pop to get. I think this might be the best anime pop, in my opinion, the best anime pop of this year's uh, New York Comic Con. Now, going off another route, this is from a TV show, another TV show pop, and this one's from How I Met Your Mother, Robin Sparkles. I don't know this pop at all. I don't know this character. I, I, I heard of the show, obviously, How I Met Your Mother, but I never watched the show. But I seen people going, like, not going crazy, but saying they want to get it. So I'm going to skim through this one because uh, for those How I Met Your Mother fans, I heard it's a funny show. I never seen it. But if it's on point with the character, then get it, guys, because some of these TV show pops, they do go, especially The Office. But this one, so far, I've seen people want to get it. So if you guys want to get this pop, you uh, How I Met Your Mother fans, grab it. Now, the next one now is a cartoon show, one of my favorite cartoons growing up, and it's Masters of the Universe, and it's two of them. Well, actually, it's three of them. It's Toy Tokyo, Share with Toy Tokyo, which, once again, Toy Tokyo. I could, I, could, I could go on a rant about Toy Tokyo because I live in New York City. I've been to their store, and they're funny. But besides that, I'm not going to get into that. But, yeah, they're Share with Toy Tokyo, and this one is Ninja and King Hiss. I'm going to go after these two. And the fact that they share with Toy Tokyo sucks, but I'm going to go after these two pops. It has to go into my Masters of the Universe um, set that I'm trying to complete. These two pops look hot, especially King Sis. King Hiss. King Hiss, let me tell you something. If he was a glow-in-the-dark, I believe the hype would have went even more crazy. But they already have a few glow-in-the-dark pops this year in Comic-Con between Beetlejuice and Wonder Woman. I, I'm sure a third one probably would have been a little bit too much. But he's fire, so I'm definitely going to go after these two Masters of the Universe pops. I'm definitely going to try to add these to my collection. Now, the third one is 10 inch beast man if he was flock a 10 inch flock which i believe there's a 10 inch flock coming out if he was a 10 inch flock the hype would have been crazy especially for those master of the universe fans us master of the universe fans would have went crazy going crazy for this one but i'm not i'm gonna pass on this i don't ha I, I, the 10 inch pops i have space for them the problem is is that it's just it's, i just have too many different um characters too many different genres of of 10 inch pops so you know i, I just want to try to you just have enough you know, I know my boy Captain Pops, he has a whole, you know, his back, he just has a, like 40 10 inch pops. I can't have that. So I'm, maybe if, if they still have this around on the Virtual Con website or if he, if he shared with somebody, because they say he's a Toy Tokyo, shared with Toy Tokyo, I'll try to get it. But if not, if I don't get it, it's not going to kill me. Now back to the anime. So now the anime, the next one is My Hero Academia, Mr. Compress. I, I heard of the show. I have a friend that watches so he loves the show. The one thing when I saw this pop, it reminds me of the, the character from the Watchmen, uh, Rorschach, or I forgot how to pronounce his name, but yeah, he looks just like him, and the pop looks interesting. It is an interesting, uh, interesting looking pop. I know the My Hero, uh, My Hero Academia fans, they're going to go after this. They're going to go after this. The Badugo or whatever, uh, Bagudo, whatever his name is from, I'm um, sorry for bashing his name, guys. I'm sorry. I know you anime fans get crazy when I bash the names. But yeah, that pop from SDCC, I think, is the most expensive one. But this one right here, I don't think the hype is going to go crazy. But if you're collecting that My Hero Academia line, you got to get this. Because he is a cool-looking pop. A very interesting-looking pop, at least in my opinion. Another anime pop is Naruto. And this one is Kaguya Otsuski. I know I'm bashing the name. <laughs> but this pop actually looks pretty cool because the character has a... I guess the left hand has like an evil smiley face in there. So I think that's pretty awesome. And I know the Naruto fans are going to go after this. They, they, their fans are, are cool. I have spoken to some of them. They're, they're very nice. And they're going to go after this pop. I think this pop is interesting. I'm not going to go after it. Like I said before, I'm going to let the fans go after this one. But this one is hot. I believe this one could go up in value. Because it's Naruto. A lot of Naruto pops go up. So this one might go up in value. So now we're going to go to the Soda line. So the Soda line now, 
I actually might get this. This might be, if I could get it, it might be my first soda line in my collection. And it's the Freddy Funko NYC, which is supposedly 2,000 pieces. He has the I Love You New York shirt on. And then the chase is him wearing a pizza shirt with a crown. So I might try to go after this. I might try to go after this. But it's a, it's a cool looking soda pop. And it's a Freddy Funko. So anything that's Freddy Funko. I think they're going to try to blow, they're going to try to make a lot of Freddy Funko sodas and just blow those up because Freddy Funko pops always go up, especially the old ones. So I believe down the line, since a lot of people are buying these soda pops and are collecting them now, this one about a few years is going to go up in value. But yeah, this, this soda pop, I'm not going to lie, it's a cool, it looks cool. So I might actually go after that. This might be my first soda uh, figure in my collection. The next one now is Masters of the Universe, She-Ra. This one is 3,000 pieces, and it's shared with Toe Tokyo. <sighs> I could go on a rant about Toe Tokyo, but I'm not going to do that. But yeah, basically you have, a, I think, yeah, there's a Chase variant. So all these soda lines, looks like they have Chase variants. So this one's from Masters of the Universe. This one actually looks cool, too. This one looks cool, too. And I believe, there's, yeah, there's another one, and uh, the character is Spike Or. Toy Tokyo exclusive, once again, Toy Tokyo, getting all the Masters of the Universes. And the, the Chase one is metallic. That one looks lit. That metallic looks lit. So actually, I might get two. Now I'm, now I'm thinking about I might actually get two or three of these sodas, if I could get them. Because this one, the Spike Or is not limited to um, pieces. It doesn't say that here. So it looks like it might be a common con pop. But the She-Ra is, is 3,000 pieces. And there's a chance you get a Chase. So I believe the chases will be half. So if it's 3,000 pieces, it might be 1,000 chases. Who knows? Maybe 500 chases. Who knows? But I believe in the future, these soda, soda figures are going to go up in value. I, I believe that. Well, there you have it, Funko family. Just showed you guys the NYCC 2020 Day 4 reveals from Funko. And the hype is, I guess the hype went up a little bit. These pops might be better than the SDCC 2020 this year. I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely have a few. I think I have about 12. 12 to 13 pops that I'm trying to get from out of the 40 that they showed. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a busy, busy virtual con. So best believe that website, hopefully not, fingers crossed, but that website for virtual con for NYCC is going to be crazy. It's going to be hectic. So yeah. Um, also, showed you guys earlier in the video, this Venom. Once again, top three Venom. And uh, out of the whole Venom line, this pop is awesome. I'm glad that it's added to my collection. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And also, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get alerted on all my videos. NYCC 2020, that's a wrap. Let me know in the comments down below what pops you're going to get from this NYCC. Or if you're not hyped at all, you're only going to get like three or four. A lot of people out there are saying it was whack. Or some are saying it's hype. Me personally, it was right in the middle. I give it a 70-30. 70% better than, than what I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to go after pops. Like I said, I'm going to go after a lot of pops. Once again, thanks for watching McFly Collectibles. Till then... I'm out.